The Magpies' bid to go three points clear of the relegation zone took a cruel hit in their 1-1 draw to Wolves last night. Rafa Benitez's men looked destined for an unlikely three points at the seventh-placed site after Isaac Hayden screwed a shot past Rumi Patricio in the second half. As the 90th minute approached, four minutes of added time was indicated by the fourth official. 34 seconds into the 95th minute, Adama Tratter floated a hopeful ball into the box, which Willie Bowley headed home. The header initially looked suspicious as Bowley somehow managed to reach the ball first despite being behind Newcastle keeper Martin Dubravka. Replays showed, however, that the Slovakian was meager in his attempt to claim the ball. Referee Graham Scott was unmoved as both Wolves and Newcastle players turned to the official after the ball crossed the line. Newcastle's protests were minimal, however, and it did not take long before Dubravka was exchanging heated words with his captain Jamal Lascelles. Benitez was contradictory in his post-match comments, first saying, they were pushing, and we could do better. With this kind of ball, you can do a little bit better just punch the ball and finish. But in another interview, the Spanish tactician claimed, I didn't like the challenge at the end. You have to protect the keeper. We have been here for years, and it's still very difficult to explain that. Should Newcastle have had a free kick, in England they don't understand the rules, so you can say whatever you want to say. The former Liverpool manager was also reportedly disgruntled with the timing of the goal coming 34 seconds after the minimum allocation of additional time. BBC reporter Jack Wiotley pointed out, however, that Benitez made a substitution in stop page time which took around a minute when he replaced A.S. Perez with Javier Manquillo. Former professional game match officials board, PGMOL, boss Keith Hackett also weighed in on the decision, backing Scott. The law is clear the sole timekeeper is the referee, he wrote on Twitter. Rafa does not have grounds to complain, particularly when we know that we are lucky to get 60 minutes of actual play.